Laura here for stretch and bands today. So we just want to keep you guys moving. So we're just going to warm up with some shoulder rolls. And all I'm using today is I have a mini band and a flat band. You can also use a Versa 2 band which has handles. And rolling back your shoulders still. And we're going to put our arms out to the side. We're going to do wide circles. Going backwards and going forwards. So we just want to keep you guys stretching, opening up throughout the week. We're going to cross your left arm across your body and hug it in. Stretching out your shoulder. Good. You're going to let that drop for your right arm across and pull. Nice and easy. So we'll start with some stretches today and then we'll move to our band workout. We're going to go the arms behind the body and we're going to pull down and then out. Down and out. We're going to take your left arm over your head behind your back and we're going to pull. Pulling that elbow down. Good. And you can do this seated as well. up to the ceiling, sky, and switch the right arm bent down, and pull, arms down. We're going to take your right leg, we're going to cross it over your left, and we're going to hang down. Drop your head, relax your back, loose up the hamstrings, the glutes. call them in. And we're going to cross the leg over and hug. You're going to come say hi quick. Come say hi. Just a quick hi. Yeah. Come on in. I knew we'd get you eventually. Cross the leg over. And here comes hug. Greg. Here's our CEO. Next, hold on. There we go. Hi. Going to check the mail. Always here for you. Good. We're going to have our knees together, right hand on your left knee. We're going to twist and look behind. It's a great day out. Robert's in there.
anything happening, we want to get you up and moving. Keep strengthening. Abs are engaged. As you do this more and more, you'll find fatigue and your feet like to turn in. Make sure you're keeping them nice and straight. We're going to go two more. And you could do, you know, three sets of ten up and down the hall just to get it going. Now from here, we're going to go forward and back. Same thing, I'm keeping my feet a little bit further past my hips. I'm keeping my toes straight, a little bend in my knees, and I'm walking forward, heel to toe, heel to toe. And from here, going back, toe to heel. Not letting those feet come in. And back forward. Push them out. You see I'm taking little steps forward, not giant steps. And back, toe to heel. Toe to heel. You can always refer back to these on our Rye Y Exercise YouTube channel. These bands I saw were still available on Amazon. And one more time back. Good. We're going to go into our skater. So from here, we're going to be a little bend the knees. You're going to tap back and together. Tap back and together. And if you wanted to, you can always incorporate light dumbbells to get a little bit more full range of motion and full body workout. So we're going to tap. You see I'm going diagonal. Tap with my toe. I'm also strengthening the leg that I'm standing on since I'm keeping that leg bent. And I'm stabilizing through my knee and ankle. It's important that we keep our joints strong at this time. We don't want any imbalances in the body. Now from here, we're going to try tapping forward. So I'm going to tap forward and I'm bringing it back. Tap forward, bring it back. Again, I'm stabilizing with the ankle. Bottom of the foot is trying to connect with the ground. These are small movements that have a big impact. Good. Three, two, and one. I'm going to bring this up. And for your squats, I'm going to have it around right above my knees. And we're just going to go down and out. Now, when you go in, you're fighting the band and pushing it out. I actually find that this helps clients keep better form in their squats. Digging those heels. For me personally, it takes pressure off my knees. Let's go. Four, three, two, one more. Excellent. We're going back to the side steps. So we're going back around the ankles again. And we're going our lateral step. Keeping the distance, my feet are straight. Good job, guys. Nice and big step, keeping those toes straight. Keep going. It's gorgeous outside. I hope you get some air. It's important to get some sun. Good, and back. Toes straight. Nice job, guys. We're going to go forward and back now. Hi there. And we're going forward and back. Good. Looking straight on, toe to heel. Be well, guys. <laughs> you too. And forward, heel to toe. And back, toe to heel toe to heel. Little steps. Keep going. And one more time. I know this is everyone's least favorite exercise, but I find it to be the most beneficial. Keep you nice and strong. Good. Going back to our skaters. We're going back. And keep that little bend in the knees.
good. Diagonal back and tap. Little bent knee. Keep going. You might be getting a little tired now. Keep pushing. Three, two, and I'm just doing a little tap. One, and now we're going forward. So we've got still bending those knees. The legs are really feeling it. Tap and forward. I'm keeping the weight in the heel. My hips are back. Just a little tap. Let's keep going for four, three, two, one more. Excellent. I'm going to sit. I'm going to take off my band and I'm going to grab my thinner, longer band. Give you a few more to do. I didn't make it that far. So, what I'm going to start with is my path throughs. Palms are facing down, up and over. And you can use a towel, a belt, a strap, anything to get this stretch. It's a great pec opener, shoulder opener. We're just going to do five more. Slow and controlled. If you feel like you're jerking your elbow to make this happen, do not do it. I don't want to see any awkwardness. Nice and smooth. The wider your hands are, the easier it is to do. Good. From here, we're going to do a little rotator shoulder cuff work. We're going to keep our palms up. Elbows are locked in our side. I'm going to hold it here and I'm going to open. I'm getting my shoulder blades. I'm squeezing back. I'm going to bring it in. Hold it out. Abs are engaged. I'm not letting my neck protrude forward. Bring it in. These are all kind of PT exercises to keep you guys going. Good. Palms up. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Easy in. Keep going. Hold it. Five, four, three, two. Bring it in. We're going to do it two more times. And out. Five, four, three, two. Bring it in. One more time. And out. Five, four, three, two. I'm gripping the extra. And depending on how long I have it, I can make it more difficult. I'm going to hold here at my chest. And I'm going to go down to my hip and back up. Down to my hip. So you can make this as easy or hard as you want it. This is your tricep extension using your band. So I'm going to go 10 on each side for three rounds. Or a towel. Yeah, it's uh, a band. You can get a little bit more of the flexion pull with though. Any kind of band would work. Let's go to the other side. And again, I got my grip and I'm going down to my hip. One thing to take a look at is I'm keeping my wrist nice and stiff. I'm not letting it flex side to side, forward or back. I'm keeping it a nice straight line within my forearm. Again, I'm at my chest, holding it in. If you have somewhere you can anchor this safely in your home from a banister, um, some bands come with door anchors. You could certainly use that. Something to know about door anchors. You're going to make sure that the anchor is on the opposite side of the door and that the door you are closing to you. You don't want to close it away from you with the anchor because then you could open the door by accident. Nice and easy. We're going to go do it again on the left side. So if this was anchored up, you could be doing two hands at once. Great job guys. Pulling through, back up to the chest and back down. And back to the right arm. My wrist is stiff. Pulling straight down to the hip. Chest to hip. And we got five more. Back. Three. Two. One more. Ooh, so I would have to uh, make sure we have enough time though. So we're gonna do our curls from here. You're gonna have one foot on. Now, it has to be in the middle of your foot, so this way there's no chance of it slipping out. And from here, we're gonna lock it in. We're gonna go up to your shoulders, down to your hips. Again, I'm keeping my wrist in line with my forearm. No flexing, no pulling. 
Good. I'm keeping in the hammer strength because without the handles, this is a little bit easier. You can also do palms out. Again, you're watching your wrist. If this was too easy for me, I would put two feet on and that just adds a little bit more tension and makes it a shorter, uh, shorter band. From here also, we can go into our kickback. So I'm gonna go into a staggered stance and I'm gonna go out and in. So right, it looked like a little chicken wing out of my chest and I'm gonna push back. So we're gonna do tricep to bicep now. Let's go five. My neck is neutral, four, three, two, one. Let's go one more set of biceps. So I'm curling up nice and slow, chest to hips. Wrist is straight, biceps controlling the movement. All things you can do at home safely. Three, two, one, and let's do triceps again, and we're going back. A lot of them don't have you bands. Pass you could use weights if you don't have bands. Of course you can use weights. Andrea told them. Weights and bands, it's a different feel. We're just giving you an alternative to do. Good. We're going to pass through for five, four, three, three, two, one more. Go wide and twist. <laughs> Andrea's like the coach. She sells Araceli to get weights. Yes, you can use weights. Today I'm using no weights. You get bands. Well, they still have bands. You can order them. All right. Diane will be here at 3.30. We'll see you guys soon.